Hi, I'm Bob Dillamartre. As individuals and organizations, we all face risk on a daily basis. The risk management process is made up of six basic steps. In today's key concept video, we are going to look at the third step, which involves risk control. Now, risk control is the risk management technique that attempts to decrease the frequency and or severity of losses. We will discuss the five following techniques. Number one, avoidance. Number two, loss prevention. Number three, loss reduction. Number four, separation. And finally, number five, duplication. Now, avoidance eliminates the loss exposure and reduces the chances of loss to zero. If you live in Southern California and you do not wish to be involved in an accident while driving a car, you could use the avoidance technique by simply never driving a car. Now this may not be practical, but as a former First Lady once said, just say no. Loss prevention seeks to lower the frequency of losses. If you're concerned about burglary, for instance, you could put heavy bars on the windows to prevent a burglar from ever entering your house. That's how you would use loss prevention. Loss reduction, on the other hand, seeks to lower the severity of losses. Although a sprinkler system in a commercial building will not prevent a fire from starting, it will most certainly help reduce the severity of any fire that may occur. The separation risk control technique uh, seeks to isolate loss exposures from one another to minimize the adverse effect of a single loss. Let's say a company has a very important stockholders meeting in another part of the country which their top executives are going to attend. If the company is concerned about losing all of its company's leaders in a single plane crash, they may have their group of executives divide into smaller groups and fly on separate planes. Finally, we have duplication. The duplication technique uses backups and copies of critical information or property. It is not unusual for companies to store copies of important data, either physical or electronic, in separate locations or computer backup systems. Well, as you can see, there are several risk control techniques that an individual or organization can employ to help decrease the frequency or severity of losses. It is the job of the risk manager to decide which are the most practical and the most effective. Thanks very much. I'm Bob Dillamartre.